Hello everyone. Today we are going to study first chapter of biology, and the chapter name is life processes. And the topic that we have to cover in this chapter that are nutrition, respiration, circulation, and excretion. So first of all, we will start the first topic that is nutrition. In this topic, we have to study nutrition in plants as well as nutrition in animals. Let's start the topic. Life process. What is life process? All biological process. Taking place in our body that are essential for our survival are called life processes. For example, nutrition, respiration, circulation, excretion, growth, etc. Everybody, you all are aware with this term. Nutrition. The mode of taking food inside our body is called nutrition. Now see the next one. Nutrient. What are nutrient? Necessary components of food which may be organic or inorganic in origin are called nutrient. Now types of nutrition in which we have to study mode of nutrition, autotropic and heterotropic. This I have tried to explain you with the help of flow chart and this will just help you to understand this topic in the better way. Let's see the mode of nutrition. Autotropic and heterotropic. First, we will discuss autotropic mode of nutrition. Auto means cells and tropic means feed or nutrition. Means, we should know that where we will use auto and where we will use autotropic. So, autotrophs are the organism that will show this autotropic mode of nutrition. And autotropic means mode of nutrition. Now, see the definition. The organism that can synthesize their own food by using inorganic molecules are called autotrophs and the mode of nutrition is called autotropic. Autotropic mode of nutrition is of two types, first photosynthesis and second chemosynthesis. Again we will break this term, so this will break in two parts, photo and synthesis. Photo means life and synthesis means synthesize, means something will prepare in the presence of sunlight and what will prepare? You all have read in the previous classes carbohydrates and oxygen will be liberated as a byproduct. Second one is a chemosynthesis. Chemo means chemical and again synthesis means synthesize. It means some autotrophs they will synthesize their food by utilizing the chemical energy that is released during the oxidation process of inorganic molecules. For example, some bacteria and algae. In bacteria, iron and sulfur containing bacteria. Now see the heterotropic mode of nutrition. What is the means of this term hetero? Hetero means other and tropic means feed or nutrition. It means the organism which cannot synthesize their food and depends on the other organism for their food or nutrition are called heterotrophs and the mode of nutrition is called heterotropic mode of nutrition. It is of three types, saprophytic, parasitic and hologeoid. In saprophytic mode of nutrition, the organisms derive their food from dead and decaying organic matter, for example, fungi. In parasitic mode of nutrition, the organism lives on or inside the body of organism and derive food from the host body. Parasites are of two types, ectoparasites and endoparasites. Ecto means on, means just lives on the host body and endo means inside, means leaves inside the host body. Next, holozoic mode of nutrition. What is the means of this term holozoic? It means feeding on the solid food. And this is completed in five steps. First step of holozoic mode of nutrition, that is ingestion, second digestion, third absorption, fourth assimilation, and fifth one is a chelation. So this topic we have to discuss in detail. Now, holozoic organisms are of four types, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and carrion feeders. Herbivores are those animals, those who are depends upon the plants for food. The same way, this will depends on the animals for their food. And omnivores depends on plants as well as on animals for their food. For example, human beings. And carrion feeders are scavengers. Let's see the next topic. Autotropic mode of nutrition. In this, we have to discuss photosynthesis in detail. So first of all, we will discuss the definition of photosynthesis. Again, the word photo means light and synthesis means synthesize. The process of preparing food by green plants by using carbon dioxide and water molecules in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. 
chemical equation of photosynthesis. Here I have written the balance chemical equation, how to balance chemical equation that you will learn in chemistry. Carbon dioxide that is added with water molecules in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, what will synthesize the complex molecules that will synthesize that is carbohydrate and oxygen is liberated as a byproduct. We will see next, next topic, importance of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is only a natural process in which oxygen is liberated into the atmosphere. Second point, it helps to maintain carbon dioxide balance in the atmosphere. The third point, photosynthesizing organism on decomposition becomes a source of fossil fuel. Next topic, photosynthetic organ, that is leaves. Leaf shows following adaptation. The first one, leaves the large surface area. It will help to absorb the maximum light. The second point, arrangement of leaf. The leaf is arranged at the right angle to the maximum area of the leaf that will just expose to the sunlight. The third point, presence of a spongy parenchyma in mesophyll cells. This will help in easy diffusion of carbon dioxide. The next one, presence of palisic parenchyma. This will help to absorb the maximum light. Thinness of leaf. It helps in rapid transport of material. Next point, presence of stomata. It will help to exchange of gases. Presence of chloroplasts. This will help to obtain the maximum light. And the last point is the extensive networks of veins. This will help in rapid transport of material to and from the mesophyll cell. Here I have given some practice questions related to the topic that I have covered today. The first question that is given in two parts. First part, give complete equation to represent the chemistry of photosynthesis. Second part, get the material needed for this process. The second question, what are the different modes of heterotropic nutrition? Next topic, we will continue the remaining part of this topic in the next lectures. Thank you everyone.